And hello everyone, my name is Lena Krupina and we have an urgent news release that needs to be discussed. If you follow the Telegram channel, you probably already saw that Irina Alexandrovna Viner, the head coach of the Russian national team and the president of the Rhythmic Gymnastics Federation, said that in Russia's connection with the introduction of sanctions and the inability of Russian gymnasts to travel to international competitions, new rules will be introduced, or rather some changes to the existing ones. And today I have received an information letter that was released by the Gymnastics Federation with changes that we will talk about today. Well, if someone still doesn't know that YouTube monetization in Russia is disabled, I'm telling you this and I will be glad if you support what I am doing. So in Moscow, a training camp has recently completed, within the framework of which Irina Alexandrovna promised to develop the new rules only for Russia. Most likely this was done so that gymnasts in Russia would not stand gates and would develop even taking into account the fact that they cannot yet perform in the world. And if you look at it only from this point of view, then it's cool and a lot of care for your gymnasts. But if you look at it from the side of world sports, it is very strange. Because if our gymnasts are returned to the international arena, and I think this will happen sooner or later, then all the gymnasts will have to rebuild their programs again, and in fact, work more again. And we all know that programs are not developed quickly. And it turns out that many athletes will simply lose a lot of time to work out programs with which they can perform only in Russia. But this is still half the trouble. When people saw this information, many began to worry about the health of children because the new rules that they want to implement will be more complicated. Well, let's take a look at what exactly is written in the information letter and what changes the Federation wants to implement in practice. First, the cost of technical complex elements of body difficulties will change, but here they promise to send information later with a new cost. As I understand, it's just some elements that are difficult in Russia's opinion will cost more. Most likely these are elements of Lala, a ring jump on her knees and in general I think it will be similar to the Divine Grace tournament in terms of the cost of elements. Of the negatives, gymnasts are more likely to get injured with these new rules. Here we hope for good coaches who will be as careful as possible and not quickly lead the gymnast to some difficult elements. And another change that will also increase the load on the athletes is the absence of restrictions on the body difficulty and the apartheid difficulty. That is according to the new rules of Russia. Gymnasts can perform as many difficulties as they like and score points with this. Of the minuses, it is likely that gymnasts who are good with the body control will only do whole exercise on body control, and gymnasts who are good with apartheid will Will do more apart as difficulties so perhaps in real life it won't look that diverse but again let's see when the restrictions on the difficulty score were removed it became more interesting to watch in my opinion there might not be a bias again we will only see this in practice also according to the new rules new original body and apart as difficulties will be encouraged it seems cool to me i love such things when girls come up with something unique and then get bonuses for it the next addition is that now gymnasts from the age of 14 compete and seniors, and gymnasts from the age of 13 can perform both in seniors and juniors. Also a rather conventional point, judging by figure skating. On the contrary, they are going to increase their age. My attitude to this probably will not be very popular, but it seems to me that this is not so bad, and it will even be interesting if this of course does not affect health. So for example, I would be glad to see the seniors with Maria Borisova, Anna Popova, and Liana Levinsky. Perhaps it if it had been earlier, we would have seen Sofia Raffaelli at the Olympics, but it is clear that at this moment it is only for Russia, but I would still shift it to the world. Well, as I understood from what Irina Alexandrovna said, it is possible that the whole world will soon perform according to these new rules. The next change that I think will be very interesting is that the seniors and juniors will have to perform the exercise without an apparatus. This in fact will make us have another type of routine. Well, judging by the addition that gymnasts will have to perform a without a parties in a dress or a costume for gala gala routines, I think it will just look like a gala concert full of elements. While it's strange how the girls will have time to work it all out, not everyone copes with four exercises. And again, I know a lot of children who were happy to get rid of the without a parties routine, so they would not be happy here. Restrictions on the use of combined elements 
have also been removed. That is according to the new rules. They can be used as much as you like. Again, yes, it is cool. It will look difficult, but how dangerous it is for the human body. In addition, every routine should have at least four waves. There is definitely nothing wrong with this. Well, sometimes gymnasts using waves in exercises looks very cool and unusual. Another change that seems rather strange and surprising to me is a change in the height of throws. Now a high throw is considered if the gymnast throws more than one height of the gymnast and not two, as according to the rules of the international gymnastics. And where in this paragraph is the motto faster, higher, stronger? And if everything complicates, then why simplify something is also incomprehensible. Thoughts that I have. An emotional one is that some Russian gymnasts had problems with high throws and to make it easier for them, they reduced the height. The thought that I want to believe in is that they did this so gymnasts won't bother too much and they would focus more on difficult throws and catches and not think how high they are throwing. Well, the last point that I will discuss is that the Russian national group team will compete on par with the regions of Russia. As a fact, the team that is trained by the best coaches will compete with gymnasts who do gymnastics in some distant province. Of course, I understand that the group members need to compete with someone, but they can make some groups for the elite and have the Russian national teams first, second and third compete with each other and the regions will compete with each other as well. Of course, it is clear that Russia 1 will most likely win, but for me, it's a little insulting for the teams that could rise to not get first place. Of course, they want to compensate for the fact that the results of the Russian national team will count as gymnasts from which region they are. This will simply motivate for the girls from regions to get into the main team, but it is still weird for me. But again, let's see this in practice. Well, summing up, Irina Alexandrovna in any case has done great things and tries to somehow motivate girls, finding ways for their development and making sure Russia does not stand still. But the truth is, in my opinion, there are more minuses in this now. Firstly, the gymnasts only switched the new rules, made exercises and spent money on choreographers and directors, and now everything has to be redone. Secondly, in any case, there will be gymnasts who will chase medals, which means that they will ruin their health, and I think not everyone is ready for such sacrifices for the sake of medals and the world community is unlikely to make gymnastics become more traumatic. I'm sure that many coaches are very worried about these rules. How will they do this that from the amount of difficulty the artistics in rhythmic gymnastics would not be reduced? Thirdly, how will we compete with other countries with the same Belarusian gymnasts who come to us is also not clear. It turns out that we deliberately close ourselves from everyone. We won't lure everyone into our rules and it's not like Russia decides by what rules other countries should perform, but the fake technical committee. Well, I'm waiting for your opinion about these controversial changes in the comments. I think there is something to be discussed. But as before, let's not insult, but peacefully discuss what you think is good and what you think is bad. Remember that I love you all very much and bye bye.